Ford High School Weekly is brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Oklahoma. Welcome to Ford High School Weekly. I'm your host, Deanna Mate. On this week's episode, we're talking to the man, the myth, the legend, Jalen Stanford, safety for the Jinx Trojans. Jalen, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me. Not too bad, man. So how's the summer been lately? Uh, it's been good. Just getting work in with the team, uh, just working hard in the off season, getting the guys right, getting ready for the season. And uh, me personally, just uh, being busy with the recruiting process and all of that. So I just finished it off. So just getting back after it. All right. Well, we'll talk a little bit about that. But first and foremost, you know how we like to do it here at Ford High School Weekly. We let the fans get to know you outside of the helmet and on the field. So let's go ahead and ask you a couple questions. You cool with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, you know how it is. Summertime is big for for movies and shows that we're too busy for during the school year and everything. So the big blast, blockbusters come out. So what yeah. are some of the, the best movies that you've seen lately? Uh, some of the best movies I've seen lately. Uh, the only movie I went to see in theaters was Jurassic Park. I mean, it's all right. It's cool. But I want to see that new Minions movie that just came out. Everybody talking about it, saying it's good. So I want to see that. And then recently I've been watching this show called uh, Big Brother with my mom. I always watched it with her. So that. So just really those three. I've just been watching those three. Wait, so you're talking about the show Big Brother on CBS? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're, you're a Big Brother fan? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Watching okay, with my mom okay. occasionally. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan. Sometimes I gotta take some summers off though, because I get a yeah. little too into <laughs> it, man. Like that, they have too many episodes during the week, and it'd be occupying too much time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, could you ever see yourself being a contestant on one of those, you know, reality shows? Oh yeah, I feel like I'll win that thing. I feel like I can win it. <laughs> yeah. For the audience members who do not know, Big Brother is a is a show where people come in, a group of uh, individuals come into a house, and you have to kind of scheme and win challenges to stay in the house and not get voted out. So, as far as strategic play, how would you, as a contestant, go into the house, and what would kind of be your strategy? <laughs> Uh, at first, I'll go in there kind of mellow, not really doing too much, not winning too many com uh, competitions, just being cool with everybody. And then kind of towards the end, I'll just bring it out, start winning competitions. And really, just, it's really all about the finesse. So really just doing what I got to do to get to the top. <laughs> so so in Big, Big Brother terminology, you, in the early stages, you're not trying to get too much blood on your hands, are you? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, you just got to sit back and relax. <laughs> Be cool. I, I feel you. I'm. That's the same way I was thinking too. I'm, I, but I'm not volunteering for too much stuff though. I'm not trying to be no nah. pond. I'm, nah, not, nah, I'm nah. not trying to be no pond in anybody's game. But I am trying to keep it low key until yeah. I have to bring out the the dominant game plan. You know, activities. I, I I'll bring it out. But that's yeah. I, I like your strategy, man. I like your strategy a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so that's is that's the show that you and your mom like to watch a lot together. Yup, big brother. Yup. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, and right. Also, I've been watching the uh, NBA Summer League starting back up, so i just been keeping up with that with my little brother. He a Golden State fan. They just won the finals, so I'm just trying to see what, what my guys got in the future, see what Milwaukee coming with. <laughs> okay, that was going to be my next question. So who you rock with? You, you said your brothers rock with the Warriors, so you're a, yeah. a Giannis fan? Yeah, Giannis. Giannis, yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> I mean, the Warriors are taking things over, man. They won the NBA Finals. It looks like they're about to win the Summer League Final. Like, what's what's going on? Oh, oh no, man. My my guy Giannis needs to step it up a little bit, man. Milwaukee needs to step it up a little bit. They're going to bounce back, though. They're going to bounce back. Yeah, they had a little bit of the injury bug during the playoffs, but I think they'll, they'll be good. They'll be good. So yeah. what makes you a, a big Giannis fan? What, what's, the, what's the reason behind that? Uh... Really, ever since he started to blow up, Giannis, he's just been one of my favorite players. He dominant, can do almost everything in inside scoring. So rebound, post moves, can shoot the mid-range a little bit. So really just him playing the way he played, I, I like that type of style. So if we had to get an early pick for who's going to go ahead and, and, and take the championship next year, who would you think? Uh... Clippers looking kind of nice. I ain't going to lie. Just now picking up John Wall. Clippers. 
Warriors in there mm, in Milwaukee. So them three. But I think it's going to be the Clippers. All right. We're we, we going to play this back next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to see. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about footwear. You know, since, since you like to watch it, the NBA basketball, I know you're in the shoes and, and you like to, yeah. to, to rock the fresh kick. So what's your favorite shoes right now that you uh, that you're looking at? Um, my favorite shoe right now, I just posted on my Instagram with these shoes. It's some uh, Jordan Flint 13s, the red ones. I've been yeah. rocking with them lately. Uh, the What else I've been rocking with? I'm starting to get into dunks a little bit. I'm starting to like dunks a little bit. Uh, Yeezys and all of that. So definitely them, dunks and uh, the Jordan 13s. That's what I've been rocking with lately. Man, the dunks has been the the shoe for the summer, bro. Like you yeah. really have to, like that's it's a good fit with the shorts and, and the yeah. socks. You can wear them with jeans. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel the dunks. I gotta get me a pair. I ain't got one yet, but <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm looking. Yeah, dunks is hard to go wrong with. You can't go wrong with some dunks. I hear you. I hear you. All right, so I know you and your 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 boys are out around town with after workouts and hanging out and chilling. So, what's y'all's favorite spot to go post up and chill and like grab a bite to eat or just grab a little snack? Um, if we just chilling, going to grab some e. We'll go to Sonic after uh our morning workout, get refreshed. That them Sonic drinks be going crazy, but we going to chill somewhere just. Been going to fly and tea a little bit, fly and tea, top golf. Been doing doing that a little bit. So top golf is like two minutes away from our high school and then Sonic. Oh, so you hitting up the golf suites over there? I, I do what I can, do what I can, <laughs> do what I can. So so get, let me get this straight. So are you good or are you just out there kicking it? Like can you can you swing the club or I mean just... I can I'm, I can swing a little bit. I don't <laughs> swing a little bit. I don't really yeah. be doing too much. Hey, let me let me let me teach you now, man. Go, go ahead and pick it up, and when when you're out there, if you if you're out there, get some practice in. You're gonna need it in the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk to my man Jalen Stafford about all his recruiting news and how he's getting ready for the upcoming season here on Ford High School Weekly. Ford High School Weekly is brought to you by Billy Sims Barbecue. It's not just barbecue, it's Boomer Q. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. We're talking with Jinx's own Jalen Stanford. Now, Jalen, yeah, the summertime is here. We, we talked about the preparation, and, and, and a lot of people don't know how much it takes for you guys to get ready for all the stuff that you're about to endure during the fall. So what's the summer been like for you? Um, Summer, just getting, at, getting after it every day with my team, coming in there at six in the morning, getting to it, knowing we, what we have to do to be back on top like we were for the last past two years. So just working hard, doing as much as you can, getting all the efforts you can in the weight room and on the field, and just overall competing and having fun. That's been the biggest thing for us, just competing while having fun. So just getting after it every day. So how specifically are you and your teammates over there at Jinx, you know, preparing? Are, are you, you guys do drills or are there competition? Or is there morning workouts? What's what's the what's that entail? Yeah, so we roll in there at about six in the morning. So we'll start off on the field and we'll just do most of it is competition. So we'll just be doing like some competition sprints or some cost competition obstacles and all of that. And then we'll finish up on the field and go in the weight room and just get it hard work in, in the weight room. And then we'll just be done from there. So we'll be around six to around eight thirty. Two so and a half Coach, hours. So Coach Nick over there getting y'all right, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is every day. <laughs> no days <laughs> off. So you personally, what are you doing as as an athlete to kind of get yourself to the next level as far as strength wise and on the field? The biggest thing for me th this year was being an overall DB. So I've been playing a little bit of nickel a lot more, just knowing more of the scheme. And another thing is uh, that's big that's big for me is film study, watching film a lot, knowing my keys, knowing my reads. So just those two, being a smarter DB, being a smarter player overall. So you're watching film during the offseason as well, huh? So so if, if that's the case, then – what specifically are you watching? Are you watching yourself to try to improve what you're doing, or are you watching opponents or into like other safeties that you want to imitate your 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 game off of? 
Yeah, so I watched a little bit of all um, – so really just going back and watching last season and just analyzing it like I can do this better, I can do that better, and just applying it into my workouts and having it in my head on the field like I need to have my footwork better in this coverage, I need to have better form on this type of tackle. So just applying the film and everything and applying other players' film. I've been watching a lot of Buda Baker lately. I kind of want to have that play style, taking a lot of things he does. So. Just the overall watching film, anything I can watch, I'm going to watch it. So for the for the listeners who don't know, who who is Buda Baker? Uh, he's a safe, safety uh, for the Cardinals. Real good uh, player. Uh, Pro Bowl, I want to say three times, four times around there. So he's really good. He's a little bit undersized like I am, so I kind of watch him a little bit. and Yeah. So I, I know he rocks the number three on his jersey, and I know you rock the number four. So it means you got to be just a little bit better since that number's a little higher, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what about his game? Do you specifically like? Um, just the way he attacks the ball. He attacks the ball with speed, velocity, gets there quick. Also, his ball playing skills. So just overall, and another thing is. Many people don't know this. He's another player that's really smart on the field, takes film study. I watched like a little, wasn't really a documentary, but like some mini clips of him in the film room. So just that film study and all that. Well, one thing you cannot imitate is the way DK Metcalf hawked him down after that interception. Don't <laughs> imitate that, okay? You got to run to the end zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So as, as far as, as as far as the weight room, I know Coach Nick has you guys competing in there pretty pretty intensely. What what are you trying to focus on to get better or, or strengthen for the upcoming season? Uh, biggest thing is building that explosiveness to come out my breaks a little bit better and a little bit more smooth. So I've been doing like a lot of resistance stuff out, of, out in and out of my breaks, a lot of sled pushing to uh, help that acceleration. So just building that acceleration and get in and out of my brakes and change the direction. We're coming up on a change of direction ourselves. Jalen recently announced his commitment to a college that's been making some moves of their own. Some coaches and all of that, I went ahead and uh, committed to the university. Find out where he's headed when Ford High School Weekly returns. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. During the summer, we like to talk to some of the athletes that we're gonna see during the fall. One of the guys is known as Zeus over there at Jinx, but we like to call him Jalen Stanford. Jalen, so I heard you had some big news over the summer that you want to kind of share with us here at Ford High School Weekly. So what what went down? Uh, uh after long thoughts and uh just conversations with my parents and coaches and all of that, I went ahead and uh committed to the University of Houston on Fourth of July weekend. So yeah, went ahead and committed. So so you're gonna be a cougar, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what what went into making that decision? Um, Just the biggest thing with me and with them is relationships, like them knowing my parents, them uh, caring for my parents, them helping me. I talk to them almost, I want to say, at least three times a week. So just having that communication base, knowing my parents feel good with sending them off, with sending me off with them. So just communication and just making it feel like home. So speaking of home, I know you went on a couple of visits over there and go, go ahead and share, share with the viewers. What was those visits like for you and, and being over there in, in Houston? Um, going on a lot of visits opened my eyes to a lot, you know, what's what's real, what's not real. So the biggest thing is that Houston visit really opened my eyes to like, this is the place I wanted to be. I knew like, almost right after that visit this is where i want to be at just having that overall home feeling it just felt like home how the players treated you how the coaches treated you and all of that so that's just the biggest thing i realized on going on visits like realizing what type of people you're going to be around every day so was there anything as far as the environment that that made that stood out to you as far as not just the the people and the individuals but the the situation that you were putting yourself in yeah so uh i went on a visit to washington state and i liked it but it was kind of a small town but also it was like kind of far from home being at houston is kind of not that far but overall just being in the city you know you don't want to be bored in the college town so just being in the city and also having 
your family right down the road. That's so that played a big part as well. So, so you're looking forward to being in in, in Houston in that big city environment and getting to hang out and, and see some different <laughs> yeah. things, huh? Yeah, yeah. And there's just a lot of more opportunities in Houston, especially with everything going on with the NIL. A lot of businesses in Houston, a lot of connects in Houston. So that's another thing: the NIL opportunities and just the opportunities in general in Houston. So that that was going to be my next question. I mean, did, did that play a big part in your decision or was that something that the coaches kind of informed you about that that could be a possibility for you yeah i don't want to say it played a big part but uh, i was informed on it and like it's something i kind of looked into so it was just kind of a plus one of having that opportunity to play as well as having that opportunity to having businesses and nio opportunities so yeah it was just kind of a plus one so on the field wise scheme wise and and what the the cougars are gonna be looking to you to do is that something that kind of aligns with your style of play or is it something that you're gonna have to adjust to as far as their defense and, and everything that they're looking at you to do yes sir so uh right now they recruited me to play strong safety and a little bit of nickel so in our defense here at jinx i already play strong safety i play a little bit of nickel so i thought it would be a perfect fit and they also kind of run a similar defense of what we run so it'll have been a, it was just the overall perfect fit, knowing the scheme of the defense a little bit and knowing the key concepts of it. So now that you're you have the opportunity where you know where you're going, you know where your future is is heading towards. Have you been able to look at some of the film that Houston has out there, maybe on YouTube or different stuff like that, and kind of see some of the things that you're going to need to improve on to be able to play at that level and with that squad? Oh, yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Just having that time off and just know, knowing where you're going and knowing like your mind is set straight forward on it. I've been able to watch a lot more of their games and on YouTube and all that, watch a lot more of their film and just how they go about themselves and in, uh, in the film study and all of that. So, yeah. So as, as far as the, the next step and, and things that you want to do, why was it just point blank appeared? Why was Houston the the best place for Jalen Stanford? No, it was the best place for me because relationships. That's the biggest thing. I just felt connected with re relationships with the coaches. And then the next biggest thing is them moving to the Big Twelve. That was one of the biggest things that decided it with them moving to the Big Twelve and being able to play at the University of Houston, but as well in the Power Five conference. So. Once I found out they were moving to the Big 12, that pretty much sold me right there and went ahead and got things done. So did you get the offer before you before they got that call to the Big 12 or afterwards? I got it. I got the offer before I found out. And so, yeah. so when Houston was, I knew you were like, oh, okay, Houston's it's a school, they're, they're dominant, There's it's a city that I like. But yeah. how big of a factor did the Big 12 giving them that opportunity to play in that league make a difference in your decision? Yeah, it made a big uh, difference. Just knowing that I, I always wanted to play in the Power Five, so just knowing them, I remember when Coach uh, Mack had texted me and told me, and I just remember it, I'm just like, wow. That's a that was a big difference of me making my decision on yeah just that making my decision overall with them moving to the Big Twelve. Well, man, congratulations! That's a that's a big step and it's a it's a big thing to be proud of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Well, when we come back, we'll talk with Jalen Stanford about the rest of his career in high school and maybe getting another gold ball with the Jinx Trojans. We'll be right back here on Ford High School Week. Welcome back to Ford High School Weekly. We're talking to one of the best athletes in the state of Oklahoma right now, Jalen Stanford. Jalen, you made that commitment to Houston. You you know what school you're going to. Now all that's left is your senior year and your senior campaign. So yes, what are some of the things that you're looking to accomplish in that senior year as, as a team? Uh, Obviously, another gold ball here at Jinx. We have the gold ball standard to see their gold ball or bust. So just another gold ball. And uh, just me personally, I want to – or no, as another team, as a team, we want to uh, beat Bigsby. They beat us the last two years, so that's going to be a big game for us. That's going to be a personal game to go in and end our senior year off with beating Bigsby. 
last game of the season. But uh, me personally, uh, I want to prove to the state why I'm the best DB and to continue to play at the high level that I've been playing at. So last year we did see you play on both sides of the ball, and, and I imagine you'll do the same this year. So offensively, what are some of the things that you want to accomplish? Um, well, last year I played a big running back role, so this year I'll be playing a bigger receiver role on my team, playing a lot more receiver. So just uh, helping my team with uh, receptions and all that, doing the best that I can for our team to be successful after playing that receiver role. Man, you really trying to put yourself out there as one of the best athletes that's come through Jinx, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do, do all so, that I can. So is there any statistical goals that you have in mind as far as offense or even defense? Uh, defense, I want to break that 100 tackles this year. That's that's the biggest thing. I want to go from over 100 tackles. And then I want to – last year I had two picks. I want to bump that up to about – if I could get more than three, that would be good. So just – 100 tackles and three picks is the biggest uh, statistic goal for me. I like it. I like it a lot, man. Well, congratulations on the commitment to the University of Houston, man. I'm so proud of you, and good luck with everything in the future, and we'll be talking to you during the season. Yes, sir. I appreciate you guys. Go to yourview.com slash OK for highlights and check out our podcast and past episodes at yourview.com slash OK. You heard Jalen Stanford say the Trojans would love to beat Bixby. To see if that happens, catch Jinx and Bixby on the fourth game of the week, Friday, November 4th at 7 p.m. It's the last game of the regular season, but it could easily be the best. Now, only the best in Oklahoma, like Jalen Stanford, make the Ford High School week. So thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm Deanna Made. Ford High School Weekly has been brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Oklahoma. And by Billy Sims Barbecue. It's not just barbecue, it's Boomer Q.